Hey guys, welcome to part two of my Wizard 101 Balance Ice walkthrough. Last time we was the first episode, and we did <clears throat> we did Unicorn Way, like from the beginning through Lady Blackham. And so I decided that we are going to do Firecat Alley first, and then Cyclops Lane, and then Triton Avenue. I actually went and did like an online sequence generator to like put them in a random order. So yeah, so that's the random order we got. Because I always do Cyclops, then Firecat, then Triton. So it switched it up a little bit. So yeah, so two Private Quinn on Firecat Alley. Or in Firecat Alley. I thought that red ghost was like a mob. It's just a Halloween thing. Hey, you there. Could you give an old soldier a hand? I'm Private Quinn. I was planning to meet some fire elf friends here, but they didn't show up. They like to have their fun with me sometimes, but with all that's happening, would you check on them for me? Head over to Fire Globe Theatre where they live and see if they're all right. I'll wait here in case they arrive before you do. Those red ghosts are distracting. I wonder if they have different color ghosts on each stream. Oh, okay, so... I, I thought I remember there being uh, some text there, but anyway. So yeah, so uh, next to the Fire Globe Theater is the Fire Cat Alley. Um, Smith. And I see a wooden chest over here, I'm just gonna get that. Five whole gold. Take advantage of that mark. Marking is so nice. You're back. Let me guess. They were playing a prank on me. Nope. Private Quinn falls ashen when you tell him about the fire elves. Oh no, that's no prank. You don't know them like I do. Something horrible must have happened to the Fire Elves. Once, a Fire Elf saved my life with an arrow. His name was Phoebo. He said we'd be friends forever because their magic connects everything they touch. That's it. Bring me their arrows and we could find out what happened to them. You'll have to duel a few of them first. You'll need to duel Fire Elves to get their arrows. I hate to ask, but I couldn't bear to fight them myself. So he just gets us to do the dirty work, okay? No, it's actually kind of hard to like get the mobs you need on this street. Okay. Then when you want the fire elves and vice versa. So I just waited a second to make sure I was getting the right. Also, off screen I went I turned level five last video, so I went and um got the two pip spell. We got Scorpion and Snow Serpent. I think it's Snow Serpent or Ice Serpent, I can't remember. I think it's Snow Serpent. Um, so yeah, so that'll make battles a little easier. <laughs> Where 
You've just received a pet snack. You can feed pet snacks to your pet after it completes a training game. So if I don't get everything I need in two fights, I will, um... Do the rest of it off screen. Because I don't think it's really, like, fun to watch, like, five mob fights in a row. Because you just, like, get nowhere. <laughs> get nowhere like in each episode oh yeah and also this episode I'm playing from perspective of my the balance this time that I did ice the first episode so I'm gonna switch each episode um which one Which one will be like on screen? Let's get some more variety. Okay, uh, the balance got all four, but the, the ice still needs another one, so I'm gonna do that fight. Okay, so got all my arrows. Great, thanks for doing this for the fire elves. If the fire elves are cursed or enchanted, and I'd bet my life they are. This arrow should reveal who did it. Greta Darkkettle used to teach alchemy at the school. She might help if you bring her the arrow. I've always thought that this lady has, like, the funniest, like, voice and personality in this game. I hope they didn't change her voice. You found me. What do you want? You can tell that Ambrose I'm not coming back. You explain the curse upon the Fire Elves. Greta takes the arrow you brought, then chuckles. He's a good soul, that Quinn. But what he knows about magic, you probably learned your first day. I need more than this. To find out who cursed the Fire Elves, I'll need a charred knife from one of those Magna men roaming the street. I'll be waiting. Okay, so Magna. There's usually not as many of these. So it might be a little bit of a struggle to get to. Uh, or not. That was nice. It's nice that I got two right away. No serpent. Yeah. This should be enough even with the small shield, but just in case. Uh -huh. Okay, so once again, the balance got it, but the ice did not. Uh, but that was only the first battle, so I guess I will... Nah, I'll cut it. Okay, well that was a struggle. It took like six magma men to get it. Usually it only takes like two or three. But whatever, here we are. You got the charred knife? Excellent. This'll show the school I know what I'm doing. Greta sprinkles <laughs> magic dust on the charred knife and arrow. The Fire Elves have been cursed by a Banshee's whale. All you need is a lock of her hair. Talk 
to Private Quinn. He could prove useful. He may know of a banshee lurking nearby. Oops, did not mean to log out. God, I definitely, I dislike this greatly. This new format interface thing. Banshee's whale. That sounds like a wicked curse. Good thing you convinced Greta to help. I've received reports that a Banshee is up to no good. I know who it is, too. Bastila Gravewind haunts the last tower at the very end of Firecat Alley. Defeat her in battle and snip a lock of hair from her wicked head. Greta needs that hair to save the elves. Wicked Bastila. Not too much to say here. Alright, maybe I'm just bad at commentary. Well, these pumpkins are getting in my way. who has Scary. been undoing my work. The Fire Elves were to remain cursed until Wizard City was in ruins. Your meddling in Malister's plans will cost you dearly, Wizard. I shall send you back to Ravenwood as an example of what happens to those who oppose us. She thinks she is really important. Newsflash, she isn't. annoyed me that the ice with the ice beetle and scarab for like the same animation. I feel like that's just lazy. It said like the first level of spell thing wouldn't come up with something. I have. Yeah. 
the ice is the one that has the, the mark here. lock of the banshee's hair. After this, Ambrose should believe what I've been telling him about the death school. Greta burns the lock of hair over a white candle and then hands the melted wax to you. Done. Tell Private Quinn that the wax from this candle can break the curse on his precious fire elves. I wish she was in the story more honestly. I think she's just, I don't know why, but I just find her hilarious. You have a cure? Great news! I've taken the wax from the candle and mixed it into the potion. I hope I did it right. You'd better do the rest. Defeat the Fire Elves and their leader, Prince Alakane Swift Arrow. The potion should then break the curse. Good luck, wizard. Okay, so six Fire Elves. Um, if I'm lucky... Well, I mean, I'm going to intentionally try to get two in each battle, so... It'll just be three. Okay, there's none for a while, so... Okay, so this one... Is he gonna join or not? <laughs> Is the Magma Man gonna join? Okay, good. So two, yeah, two more fights. Whoops. Did not mean to do that. <laughs> there we go. So hopefully there will be a fire, yeah, there is a fire elf coming. Okay, twice in a row. 
That triggered in in response to sizzling. <laughs> One more battle. So now just the final boss of this street. You know it's rude to interrupt a performance, but you are just in time, wizard. This is your final act.
As you pour the potion into his mouth, Alakane's swift arrow shivers and his maddened eyes soften. I, I remember. I was cursed, as were all my people. Did Private Quinn send you? Tell him his arrow saved me, as mine once did him. The curse. I can feel the effects of the curse weakening. Now that we know it was the Banshee's curse, we will guard against it. Tell Private Quinn that we owe him a debt of gratitude. And thanks to you, Wizard, for freeing all of us. Thank you for freeing Prince Swift Arrow. Your deeds here will long be remembered by the elves. Oh, so cute. I'm glad to see the elves again, even if they are a bit annoying. <laughs> no, I never thought the curse would win, even for a moment. Still, I'm glad you helped my friend, Prince Alakane. Firecat Alley is much too dangerous, wizard. Someone needs to warn the headmaster. Please go tell Headmaster Ambrose about the curse upon the fire elves. I will stay here and warn the others. Okay, so we're done here. my favorite student. I hear you've been exploring the different streets around the city. The headmaster listens intently as you tell him about the events of Firecat Alley. I was afraid of this. Malister is trying to keep us from finding out his real plans by causing chaos and panic on every street. We must find out what he is up to for the safety of our school. I will have to think on this some more. He has found many creatures to help do his bidding. I fear that he has sinister designs, not only for our world, but for all the others as well. You have done quite well, young wizard. I am proud of you. Keep up the good work. I want you to introduce yourself to Diego, the Duel Master. He manages the arena. The arena is just inside the entrance to Unicorn Way, on the right. Yeah, so the Diego the Duel Master, I'll show him. Because it's kind of a quest that the, that he gives you immediately, like you don't have to do it, but it's kind of annoying having it in the quest log. So any quest that Ambrose has, I usually just do it, even if I don't have to. Greetings! My name is Diego Santiago Corriquez Ramirez III, Champion Duelist. The Duel Master bows with a great flourish of his cape. The arena is a wondrous place. Students come here to hone their skills with magic, practice against others, and gain endless glory and fame. To try your hand against your classmates, enter the arena and step into the Duel Circle. If you train well, perhaps you can develop skills to rival even the great Malister, yes? What a duelist he was! He's the only person I would not want to duel in a real fight. Luckily, we only sparred for practice. Oh, speaking of Malister, did you know that he and Cyrus are twin brothers? I wouldn't be surprised if Cyrus was helping Malister with all this maze in Wizard City. You should tell Ambrose to keep an eye on Cyrus. Hmm. Diego thinks that Cyrus is helping Malister cause all this trouble on Wizard City, eh? Oh, Diego shouldn't be spreading foolish rumors. Cyrus is a good professor. I trust him completely. I'm sure you heard that Malister Drake used to teach at the Death School. He was once one of our best professors, very powerful and compassionate. He loved discovering secrets of power. The only thing he loved more than power was his wife, Sylvia. May she rest in peace. If only she was still with us, things might be different. But even death cannot be undone. Speaking of issues concerning Malister, one of his favorite students, a boy named Duncan Grimwater, has been tackling a ghost problem over on Triton Avenue. 
Can you inquire as to whether he has heard anything from his old professor? We need to know if Malastare has been contacting former students. Have you had a chance to visit the new pet pavilion in the commons? It's a wondrous place where pets can be trained, hatched, and can even race against their friends. It's quite easy to find. Just head towards the library. I was wondering if you might do me the favor of delivering this parcel to Milo Barker, the ringmaster of the Pet Derby. Oh, have a care not to crush or drop it. <laughs> that wouldn't be at all pleasant. Headmaster Ambrose hands you a box with some air holes punched in the top. It makes a slight grunting noise when you shake it. Please convey this item to Ringmaster Barker. Post haste. He shall reward you handsomely for your efforts. Okay, so that's a bunch of, like, stupid quests that I really don't feel like doing. I'm just going to do them off camera because they're just... I don't know. I'm just not. I'm not going to do them on camera. I don't want to commentate them. <clears throat> but yeah, so that's enough for this time, I think. Um, so yeah, so this time we did all of Firecat Alley, and next time we are going to do all of Cyclops Lane, which I like marginally better than Firecat Alley because I just dislike Firecat Alley. Um, <laughs> so I guess see you guys next time for part three.